Hey guys. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video on my van's electrical setup. And I started building this up as a weekender van. Uh, so definitely no, not full time living. Not It won't even get like a couple of months of usage every year. So I already got the seats done uh, and then I have vin the vinyl floor done and uh, uh, also the vinyl uh, side panels but i'll think in future i'll just make this as wood uh, wood paneling even in the top i got the insulation done um, and then uh, i got the refrigerator so this is a one, uh, i think 110 or uh, 120 volt refrigerator uh, so the reason for this is i didn't want to eat up into the 12 volt capacity uh, because the ecoflow delta pro 3 has a 30 amp max uh, the 12 uh, of uh, 12 volt dc and then I wanted to save that uh, for like the DC appliances. So, so far I only got the uh, Max Air fan, uh, which is, as you can see that they're running there. And the way I wired up is I got an Anderson uh, plug and then an O-ring connector uh, wire. And then I hooked it up to this fuse panel. And from here I got a 10 amp fuse. And from there I'm wiring uh, both of the uh, fan, uh, I mean the fan wiring. And it's going up through the through there to the duct there and then it's just wired up there so yeah uh, i just finished uh, a two week uh, trip in this one in this setup with my family and the van and the refrigerator was running uh, full time the refrigerator and the fan were running full time because i wanted to uh, take off some of the gassing of the vinyl uh, sheets there so i had to keep the fan running all the time but i went like when i when i when i found a ac uh, uh, input so I was just charging that. Get the alternator charger. I was just not sure about this setup. So that's why I didn't I, I didn't get an alternator charger yet. Uh, but so far, I think the two weeks that I did gave me a little confidence on the unit uh, so that um, I will probably get the alternator charger soon for that uh, so that I can charge it on the go um, and maybe some minimal solar setup too. Uh, I didn't want to complicate it too much. Uh, so that's why I was just keeping it uh, light. And then, uh, as you can see, the unit, it did really well. They mentioned, right, three days uh, full usage with the refrigerator running all the time. And right now, it's at 86%. But, um, yeah, I don't anticipate, like, major, I mean, appliances that I'll be getting. Yeah, I thought of getting an air conditioning, but then uh, uh, for the usage that we do, right, and uh, I don't think uh, I can justify that. So that's why I didn't go with uh, uh, either the power kit or, like, a custom built uh, lithium ion setup uh, and I thought this is like fairly straightforward and I just wanted to keep it simple uh, so that um, in future if I want to change the direction right it's not too difficult for me to do this. and yeah length about this uh, I think there are a lot of videos on this but yeah this is a one, uh, 120 volt uh, inputs it has like four plug points and then this one has a 240 volt uh, also uh, so they have these, these are the receptacles for that and uh, it gives you a few USB micro and uh, uh, regular USB chargers, fast chargers. And on the side of this, I think it has the... Yeah, I think you can hook your RV plug directly here. Uh, this gives you 120 volt, uh, 30 amps max. Um, so that's for this. And this side is all the DC uh, side of it. And I'm using the Anderson plug as I showed earlier, right? Anderson plug for my fuse block and uh, wiring the fan from there. And I will have some receptacles and then reading lights and all of that set up soon. Uh, but so far, this serves my purpose. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, as I mentioned, right? Like, I don't, this is like a perfect system for me. I had my doubts initially, but then after like uh, two weeks of uh, continuous usage, uh, I am uh, sold on this. I'm showing the total output uh, usage that I did. So if you see, right, uh, in the AC port, I. I mean, the refrigerator used almost like 4.5 kilowatt hours. Uh, this is for a span of, I think, 10, 10 days, as you can see. I think it, we did some usage in July too, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so overall, like, I think, yeah, the fan was using very minimal, 1.1 uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, uh, kilowatt hour uh, over the span of uh, these days. So if you can see here, right, uh, the, while the purple is the fan and then the green is the refrigerator. Yeah, so in the setting that I have it is, uh, let me just, yeah, so for charging speed, I have the maximum speed because I want to charge it quickly. 
but then the charge limits i set it up uh, as like minimum like i think it will only discharge up to 30% uh, recommended is 10% but i just wanted to leave it for 30% and then yeah charge limit i think i'll just reduce it to 90 now but then i had it as uh, uh, 95 before because i was traveling for like 3 or 4 days and i wanted to charge up maximum uh, but yeah i think that's all i messed up messed with uh, rest all is all like i think out of the box configuration